This video presents ROM chip AT28C16, which is a 16 bits or 2 kilobytes EEPROM. This video will demonstrate using a simple circuit how to store data in the ROM chip and then display the content on 7 segment display. The pin diagram of the EEPROM chip is shown here. We have 11 address lines from A0 to A10. We also have eight uh, I.O. lines, data lines from I.O. 0 to I.O. 7. These I.O. lines are bidirectional. It means they are both input and output lines. And the direction of data flow is controlled by the control signal output enable, which is active low signal. So when this is at logic 0, it means that the lines are output and we can access the contents of each memory location. When the OE signal is at logic 1, it means the I.O. lines are now uh, input lines and it means that we can uh, write a byte into a memory location identified by the address lines using the uh, pin 21 which is the write enable uh, signal which is active low. And finally, we have the pin 18, which is the uh, chip enable active low, and this is normally connected to ground so that we can access the uh, EEPROM. Let's have a look at the components used in this project. We have a micro switch connected to two NAND gates inside the 7400. This is uh, a debouncing circuit. And uh, the output of the debouncing circuit is connected to this uh, 74590, which is an 8 bit uh, uh, counter. The 8 bit count value is displayed on this uh, 8 bit uh, bar graph uh, display. The 8 bit count value is then connected to the first eight address lines of the AT28C16s. This means now we have access to the first 256 memory locations of the EEPROM and uh, if we want to access the whole uh, 2 kilobytes of uh, memory then we have to utilize all of the 11 address lines. The 8 I.O. data lines of the EEPROM is connected to these LEDs and also connected to this 7 segment display. These displays are used to show the contents of each memory location. Finally, we have this push button here, which is used as a write button, uh, which allows us to write a byte into a memory location set by the counter. Also, we have this push button here, which resets the count value to zero so that we can start from the first memory location of the RAM chip. This is a truth table for displaying some uh, characters on a common anode 7 segment display. And we want to store these patterns uh, in our ROM chip starting at uh, memory address 0 up to memory address 10. And the characters to be displayed are these characters. And this is the pattern of each character. Keep in mind this pattern is for a common anode 7 segment display. As an example, to store a value at memory location 15, first we make sure that the output enable line is high. This will enable the write feature. Then we connect the output data lines to appropriate values of ones and zeros. Then we go to the desired memory location and then press the right button to copy the data into that location. After storing the truth table values in the ROM chip, we can flip through the memory locations and see the contents of each location on the 7 segment display. Pressing the counter reset button brings us back to memory location 0.
Memory Chip AT28C16 is a very versatile, easy to use EEPROM that can easily be integrated in any 8 bit microcomputer design. Thank you for watching.